I'm the head judge of the Manchester Fiction Prize. Um, the Manchester Writing Competition began in 2008. Uh, since 2013, we've been running the Manchester Fiction Prize and the Manchester Poetry Prize together every year. I've been the head judge of the Fiction Prize since we started. I'm also a senior lecturer in creative writing at Manchester Met. We've had, uh, the, the, the number of entries seems to grow every year. Um, I think we've had upwards of 1,600 this year on the Manchester Fiction Prize. Um, the standard is generally very high. Uh, and when we get up to the shortlist, or indeed the, the, uh, we, we highly commended, I think, about 20 further stories. And the standard when you get to that level really is extremely high. We're talking about very, very good stories, all, all of them publishable. We get entries from all over the world, um, numerous countries, and from published writers, from unpublished writers, from people who've never published before. The ethos of the prize is all about encouraging new writing. So we're especially pleased to get stories from writers who, who've never entered competitions before or who haven't been published or just been published here and there. I would say that the main difference between a winning piece of work or a shortlisted piece of work and one that doesn't make the shortlist is that there's no reason to stop reading it and there, there's every reason to carry on reading it and you want to carry on reading, you want to find out, you want to find out partly what it is that the writer has been withholding or that the narrator has been withholding. Uh, William Trevor said, who was uh, one of our greatest short story writers, said that the best words, the most important words rather, are those that are not on the page. So it's very often a case of reading to the end, finding out what wasn't there, why wasn't it there, and what, what was the writer really trying to say. This year, my two fellow judges and I found that there were a lot of stories about dementia. It was a subject that kept cropping up. Um, that's on the serious side. On the less serious side, there was a surprising number of stories about seagulls. We're very excited for the awards presentation on Friday. Um, it's always an extremely enjoyable event, and there's a lot of tension built into it, obviously. And at the end of the evening, a couple of people will be going away very happy. I mean, hopefully, everyone will go away happy, but some people will go away happier than others. The competition has a huge uh, pot of prize money. £10,000 for fiction, £10,000 for poetry. It's not all about that. People who get shortlisted, obviously, if they don't win, then they, they're only shortlisted. We had a, an author who was shortlisted several years ago. Within four, three or four years, she was uh, writing a novel, and the novel was published, and she was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize. So featuring in the prize can lead to, uh, can lead to great things. I think it's important that we celebrate uh, new stories all the time. Uh, we, we all want to hear stories, we want to read stories, we want to be part of stories. And it's, uh, it's part of our job to encourage new writing.